Okay, so this is what the workout set looks like. It kind of pushes this all like in and it makes this a little a little bit more pokey, but um that's okay. It really like shows every curve of your body, which I don't know, it's probably supposed to do that. Honestly, I'm so happy this fits. I thought it was gonna be too tight or something, but overall it's looking good, looking good. It's not the most comfortable on the bottom. Like, I don't know, I can just feel some of the seams and it's not as comfy as like I would probably want, but it's okay. I really don't care. It's only to like work out at home and stuff. It's pretty much it for what the outfit looks like. Since I think getting some B-roll of me working out and stuff and it's the second week, I will go ahead and film me working out and everything and maybe just the update videos will be me talking. I don't know. Still haven't really decided on this. So if you guys have any suggestions, I'm thinking about just putting um, the same footage in the update video. So I like it's more, I don't know, it just tells the story better. Um, but also I wanted to include this because it's what I'm doing today. So this is kind of like a stereotypical Alex vlog. So let me know if it's too repetitive. Um, it's not gonna be too long of a, of a time lapse. It's really fast. And I love that this camera actually has a time lapse feature on it. So I don't have to just speed it up. It's already like once I put it in my editing software, it just automatically is a time lapse. So that is amazing. Let me know your thoughts. I'm just kind of rambling because I just don't know what you guys want. And I know kind of like what I'm gonna do, but I just wanna make sure it's not like boring. When this is doing a time lapse, it's so weird because it, it goes like ding, ding. Like it, it, I don't know, it makes this weird noise. So it's kind of annoying. I like the way the time lapse looks. And there's different settings for each time lapse it can do, which is pretty cool. Let's get on with the time lapse and me exercising. <laughs> Okay, so my camera battery totally died when I was doing that. I didn't decide to start it up and everything just because I didn't want to like disrupt the workout. But guys, look at this sweat. Oh my gosh. I ended up doing the 30 minute workout. Um, I will make note of this. So when I do my update videos, like I'll tell you guys what I did. I was gonna do an arm workout, but guys, the 30 minute workout is just so intense. Oh my gosh. I'm so sweaty, it's crazy. Um, also, I wanted to give a quick review on this like workout set because it's interesting and I don't I don't know if I like it or not. So as you guys can see, like this area is not really like as fit and stuff. It is getting smaller like than it was and I feel my abs under it. I just need to like burn this off. But when I was doing the exercises and stuff, this like rolls down my freaking fat roll. Like I wish it would stay up, but like when you do like the crunch stuff, Stuff, it like slowly creeps down and I don't really like it. So that's my initial review of this uh, workout stuff. The top is like completely fine, but I really don't like the leggings, but they're all right. And it's not the end of the world. They were like 30 bucks. So honestly, when I just like lose little roll, my top fat roll, then I think it'll be a lot better. And there's a van in my neighborhood. That's kind of creepy. As you guys saw, I put in some towels and I'm going to go put them in the dryer. I'm not going to vlog that because you know, I just wanted to start the vlog with like what I was doing rather than just like normal trying to just be more creative with the videos because I mean my life's not totally exciting all the time but I still like to vlog so don't have any pets or kids or like my parents aren't here so it's you're just gonna get me I hope that's okay sweaty Alex I really want to go get a new vacuum cleaner because ours has been broken for a long time and we just haven't really gotten one and it's getting to the point where like I'm getting like gross stuff on my freaking mat because we need a we need a vacuum so I think I'm just gonna go, I think I'm gonna get the one that we got in Ohio. I have to look back on that video to see what actual vacuum cleaner we got. So I think I'm gonna do that later today. Um, I think I'm gonna have my regular lunch for lunch. I'll show you guys. I'm still like dripping in sweat. Get used to this because I just sweat a lot, you know? It's just what it is. So I'm sorry that you'll see a lot of sweaty Alex. And this is the main excuse I use to not work out and stuff. I hate getting sweaty and whatever, just because I sweat so easily, like I can think of about sweating or when I get nervous I start sweating and then when I actually do physical workouts where I'm getting sweaty and stuff 
I drip like it's not even just like a light sweat no I drip and it's always been that way at dance in Florida living in the hot weather at, at one of the parks like I'm dripping in sweat so that's the excuse I used and I need to stop that and just do it I want to look better and feel better I'm already like feeling better and stuff and honestly like I've always had at least a little pouch so I know my realistic goals and stuff so yeah I'm trying I've been trying to end this clip for like the past three minutes now but it just hasn't worked out so anyway on to the next thing i film so i threw in some more laundry and now i'm gonna eat i'm having popcorn these are the snack size and they're the 100 calories and then i have celery eggs and my cookies cliche oh and i take a vitamin and vitamin d obviously so before i take a shower and all that yeah i know it's been kind of a long time basically my days off are pretty chill and i don't really do a lot i mean obviously i do youtube related things and edit everything but honestly that's why i haven't like taken a shower yet also i want to get your opinion on when do you wash your hair People that exercise, because I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it like two times a week. But if I'm working out so much, how often do you wash your hair? Because I really need some advice on this because I don't know when the right time is to wash it. Like, do I wash it every other day or every two days? Let me know because it's stressing me out. And that's another reason why I make up dumb excuses not to work out. I got a nice, exciting package. This was made by Type Haley. I think her name is, hold on, she put her card in here. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! Aww. Alex, thank you for your order. I hope you enjoy it. Oh my gosh, I already know I like it. It's so adorable. So her name is at Type Haley. Here's her little information and thank you letter. She's a designer and motion graphics artist. She has done a lot of the big YouTubers like Alicia Marie, Remy, Ashton, and Aston Ovard's like graphics and everything. Such a talented girl. I will leave her linked down below so you can follow her on Instagram. And I found her because Aspen actually tagged her and I was like, oh my gosh, she's so talented. I wish I had that talent. I can recreate a lot of stuff, but just having like original content, she's very talented when it comes to graphic design and everything. So this is what I ordered from her. It's a little Instagram keychain and it's a little heart. I can't wait to put this on my keys. Oh my gosh, and it's so light too. It's not like a heavy keychain. I thought it was gonna be like bulky. It is not bulky, like if you can tell. I am contemplating on buying her YouTuber pack for graphics and stuff, or I might pay her to just like customize something for me. But I always have a hard time doing that because I know like in my heart, like I could do it, but I don't know, she's just really talented and I like supporting people in the community. So I'm thinking about it, contemplating or just buying her pack. So this is my little outfit today. I am going out just to get a vacuum cleaner, I think. But this is what my little outfit looks like. I don't think I've shown this on my channel yet. It kind of makes me look like bigger. I don't know, oh man. But it is a really puffy sweater thing so i got this from luca and gray i bit the bullet and paid the full price for this because i really like the design i love the colors it's just really me it's puffy and fluffy and really really soft my hair is wet from the shower as you guys can see i asked you guys on instagram too like what i should do with like working out and my hair schedule and a lot of you guys said like oh i wash it after i work out so i guess i'm gonna be starting to wash my hair every day i really don't want to do that it's not very good for your hair um especially too because my hair is still damaged even though i got it back darker it's still not very good to wash your hair every day, but I might just have to do that. Let's get on the road, and I need to actually research which vacuum cleaner I need to get um, because we got one when we were in Ohio, and I kind of just want to get that one for this house here because it's a really good vacuum cleaner, and I already know how to put it together, so that's another reason why I think I'm just going to get the same one. Okay, so we made it to Lowe's. Let's turn it on. Get run over, but here's Lowe's. <laughs> it is such a pretty day out. I wish like I had more of a life so I could go out in this nice weather. It'd be great for a park day, but I hate going to the parks alone. Don't really know what's wrong with these camera settings but anyway i need to get a card are there cards out here i don't know oh there they are 
One really weird thing about these types of stores, I never know where anything is, even though everything's clearly labeled. But I went in the cleaning section because that makes the most sense. Oh, wait, I'm just gonna ask this employee. Excuse me? Where would the vacuum cleaners be? Vacuum cleaners? Yeah. They're gonna be going all the way to aisle 30, where it says 35. 35? Yep, on the okay. right hand side. Thank you. Okay, good thing I asked because I was going completely opposite direction. Stay tuned to see if I find the vacuum cleaners. Okay, so I found the cleaners and I swear, I think it was this one. I'm not sure, I know it was um, a pet one, which I'm gonna check my photos, but I'm not spending like $300. Okay guys, I found it. And it's actually on sale. That's why I needed a cart. But it's like $110 about, it's on sale. So I'm just gonna get it because I'll show you our old vacuum cleaner and I will go over it when I'm setting this up. Oh my gosh, I think it's the last one too. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, so I just got out of Starbucks and this poor girl, she like dropped all of her friends' drinks and stuff. People thought she was having a seizure, but I don't think she was. She just like slipped on the, the liquid. Tastes so good. I get the, um, when pumpkin spice isn't a thing anymore, I either get the vanilla bean frappuccino or I get chai tea with um, two pumps of vanilla because it almost tastes the same. It's just a little like less strong. I was just in the mood to get some Starbucks. The Lowe's that I went to is really close to here and I have a gift card. So I'm trying to spend that because Starbucks isn't the best for you. And I know that like this does not help with my healthy eating and stuff, but I decided to just go for it. It's all right, it's all right. Okay, so I am going to put this thing together and then probably at least vacuum the areas I can around here, at least in the living room. And I might work my way into my room, but just wanted to do a little time lapse of me putting this thing together. It's not every day you get out and buy a vacuum cleaner. Oh man, you truly know you're adulting when you're excited about your new vacuum cleaner. best I could do. I don't know if this is the exact vacuum cleaner. I'm pretty sure it is, but I don't know what this piece is for. It has it on the manual and I found where to put it, but it won't turn right. So it's like number two right here. And I have no idea how the heck to do that. And then these two things, one of them is supposed to go on the back here, like on the section. But it does, but it's not very tight. So I'm like, I'm not even gonna put that there. Its function is to like clean up stuff on the floor. So these are like just specialty items. So I think I'm just gonna set them off to the side with the manual and everything. I won't bore you with another time lapse, but I just wanted to show you guys. Um, after I get done vacuuming, at least what I can in this room, um, I'm going to show you guys our old one. This is such a boring video. I'm sorry, people, <laughs> but it's kind of what I'm doing today. Oh, the dark clothes just got out of the wash. Need to move those over. It's just like a chore type of day. Okay, I did change shirts because I was getting so hot in that big fluffy thing when I was vacuuming. Guys, I'm not even gonna show you what it looks like because it's like really gross. It's like a big hairball. Probably because I lose like a lot of hair. Or at least I did when I was blonde. But this is our old vacuum. We've had this for like years. I don't even know. We got it in some 2000, before 2010. Probably before, maybe around 2005 is when we got this baby and we saw the commercials about the eight pound auric and you can change the little uh bags inside of them and everything so like this is kind of big but that's one of the bags and it's super light and the commercials just got us we were like oh my gosh this thing's so light but it has been having uh troubles the past couple times i've tried to use it and it smells like something's burning. So Sherry thinks it's the belt that's burning on it. So we haven't like vacuumed in a little bit, which is embarrassing, but that's why I decided to get a new vacuum and I'm really impressed with it. It picked up a lot. Yeah, that's kind of the story about the vacuum cleaners. So I hope my parents like this one. I know Valerie will probably like it because she was with me when we were in Ohio and everything. Okay, so for dinner, I'm having 11 pizza rolls because Apparently Valerie didn't know I wasn't eating them. So we've had these things for quite a while frozen in the garage because we have a freezer out there and we have so many. So I need to start eating them. I know it's not the best choice, but yeah, we just have a lot of them. And then I have 
my little salad here because I'm not extremely hungry. So I have a little salad here. This is crazy for you guys to hear, but I'm a little sick of like salad and like turkey and stuff, <laughs> which is crazy because I eat like mostly the same lunch every day, but I can't have the same dinner every night. So it's getting kind of annoying. So I'm going to research and Sherry and I are going to check out Fit Life Foods. Um, there's one near Dr. Phillips. So I think we're going to take a little field trip there tomorrow. So stay tuned to my channel to see our adventures. So we're just gonna eat dinner and watch Orange is the New Black. We are on season seven, right? Is seven the last, the last one? one we're on the last, last season. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. That's about it for this video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.